What's up guys, how's it going? Um, today, we're doing another GPU teardown. Uh, this is going to be a simple GPU teardown, if you don't know what that is. Basically, it's a very simple to take apart GPU. Like, really doesn't need a guide, but I'm just making it so that whoever may take apart a GPU of this nature, or this exact one, or one similar to it, um, that they know what they're getting into. Just sort of like I'm not I'm not even sure just sort of like knowing what you're getting into knowing the dangers and I'm just gonna take it apart and show you important whew, sorry important components and things of that nature sorry I'm if I sound a little weird I'm getting over being sick I literally just made another video and I was like you know what let's do it let's make a another video like let's do a double in one day uh, you may notice the lighting's a bit different. I got a softbox light, so shadows aren't as harsh as you can see right here. They're not as sharp or defined. It's a little bit more scattered, which is nice. So anyways, today, the tools we are going to be using. Regular size Phillips head. Small Phillips head. And from my kit of wonders here, we're going to be using the M5 hex screw. Yep. And everybody will know what that is because it's what we use to take off the hex nuts. These. Not, not that. That's the S-Video connector. It's irrelevant. Uh, what we use to take off those for the IO plate. And that's all you need from that. Alright, to begin. We're going to want to flip the GPU on its front. And we are going to want to take out all these spring-loaded screws. All these. We're going to start off with those. Alright. Um, for these, it doesn't really matter. Taking them off in uh, succession with each other. Like, unscrewing one. And then, un or, eh. Unscrewing one a little bit, and then unscrewing another and then another, and then finally doing it in an order until you get them all out. Really, the only ones you want to worry about are the ones in the X formation. That is where the GPU die is generally located, so don't do what I did, because I just took one out right off the bat. This GPU is not dead. The die isn't, like, broken or anything. It's just it has a bad memory controller on it. And I don't know how to replace that, so um, for this, you can just put the screws to the side. You're not going to have a ton of screws. <coughs> oh, excuse me. You're going to have to put up with that for probably a bit. Sorry. But you just want to put the screws to the side. You're not going to have a ton of screws to deal with, so I wouldn't say go get a bunch of parts, uh, trays or, parts trays, um, screw trays or something. Alright, and once we have all of the spring-loaded screws out, we are going to want to take off these tiny ones right here. They're all around the GPU die, so go ahead and do that. I will say, I am loving this softbox light right now. It's great. Come on, you. He was a stubborn one. He didn't want to come out. So yeah, even though this GPU uh, is technically not working, uh, if you see me being rough with anything, please be more gentle with your graphics card. Unless I say, yeah, put a little force into this. Because <coughs> you never know what can happen. Anything can happen with a graphics card taking it apart. You can somehow brick it or... You never know. You just gotta be careful. Oh wow, this GPU sold the uh, the black little the black little covers on the uh, screw hole came off. All right, and once we've done that, you're gonna wanna flip this over and really quickly take out your fan connector, which is right there. Mine doesn't have a cover on it because uh, when I went to bake this, it came off. Yes, I have. I went and baked this GPU. I went and reflowed it. So you want to take that out, 
And then all you have to do is next take out this screw here. And you and you use a regular oops I for it. Set that aside. Come on. Ah, uh, and the one thing I always forget to mention, you want to start, you want to take these two screws off as well. You always want to take the screws off on the I.O. plate, because they are what are attaching the card to the cooler as well. And you're going to want to use a normal Phillips head for this. Alright, and there you go. And as you can see, we do have a ton of thermal pads on this. So you've got one on this chip here. <coughs> Sorry. You have one on this chip here. And then you have one for each of your um, memory controllers here. Memory controllers, your um... Actually, yeah, they would be called memory controllers. Because they're not VRMs as far as I'm... Or as I know. So yeah, uh, if you need to replace thermal pads, uh, easy way to do it is get new thermal pads off eBay. They're super cheap if you can find the right person selling them. Because some people will be like, oh, let me sell one square of thermal pad for two cents. And then it's dumb. Anyways. So. I forgot my train of thought. Okay, I remember it now. So what you want to do is you want to take the thermal pad off. You want to take some isopropyl alcohol, wipe both the thermal pad as well as the memory chip on here, clean it off nice and easy, and then you want to put your new pad on. The new pad will have thermal grease as well as it will expand when heated. So, And as for things to look out, on, for, look out for on this board, um, really nothing insanely crazy. You want to be careful of that fan connector. You just want to be careful because there's a lot of small components exposed and just bumping this GPU is a bad idea. Bumping, like bumping it on a table or a wall. So now we are going to take off these hex nuts. I think they're called hex screws. And yes, don't worry, we will be taking apart the cooler as well. When I say GPU teardown, I mean GPU teardown. We tear down the entire sucker. Unless for some reason you have a shrimp, you... Bleh. Unless for some reason the person who owned it before you stripped the screw in it and uh, made it so you can't take apart the entire GPU. <coughs> GTX 690. Anyway, so now we want to start by taking apart all, or taking apart, taking off all the screws that are on this cooler. So there's one, there's a couple on the side, there's one here, um, there's one here, as well as, it's kind of sneaky, I didn't even notice it till I decided to tear apart this card. Um, there's four here. There's one in here that you have to get. Another one here. Another one here. And that's it. So we're going to start by taking apart the ones on the side. That's what I meant to say. Now I probably should have said you, you don't need a parts tray if you're only taking apart the GPU. Probably should have said it if you needed, or um, if you're taking apart the cooler. Sorry about that. So now we're going to take apart the ones on the top here.
and these might be a little stuck in so you have to put a little force. Usually you want to go until you hear the clicking. Trying not to stick my thermal pads to the uh, thing. Oh yeah, there is a fourth one. See, even I miss things. There's one right there. So you want to take that one off as well. And because I've never taken apart this one to this extent before, there's a lovely amount of just dust and crap all in it. And that's how you would take apart this entire GPU. Uh, the fan is pretty self-explanatory. I really like these fans, they're kind of cool. There's three screws in the fan right here. And that's about it. Uh, thank you for watching this GPU teardown. Um, I'm glad I could hopefully maybe prevent somebody from doing something wrong and damaging their GPU because that would suck. I would know. I've damaged things before. Anyways, uh, don't forget to like, favorite, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Later.